What is going on guys? Dragon Ray Gaming aka Rayquaza and let's see dude we have some fantastic news. The content drought is starting to trickle in. We have some new Starfield information that's come out today. This article comes from Video Games Chronicle. Let's check it out. Okay first off first and foremost this it's been a long time since we had some good concrete evidence of starfield this is an interview from todd howard new starfield video covers character traits dialogue and fuel-based exploration bethesda's todd howard questions from the community listen guys we're gonna go in depth with this video later on but i'm gonna give you a good breakdown summarize and then we'll watch react to the actual video later on Bethesda has released a new Starfield video in which game director Todd Howard answers a series of questions from the game's community. The video, which is viewable below, begins a tire explaining how the upcoming game is inspired by classic RPGs like Traveler and Sundog. If you guys don't know what that is, it's an old style game, man. You guys check it out at some point. He goes on to discuss whether he considers the game to be hard science fiction while the game does have a grounded scientific accuracy and logic the studio has made some concessions for example howard said we are very really into fuel and how the gravity drive works and i'm reading papers in quantum physics and bidding space time in front in front of you oh wow that's kind of crazy you don't actually warp and bend space <laughs> that's kind of of course they're not going to do that they have the technology but you know who knows all right you, you bring the space towards you and so we're playing with that and become very punitive to the player your ship would run out of fuel and the game would just stop okay so you guys basically what he's saying is you you this game runs on fuel you need fuel you have to have fuel okay that gives us a lot of implications. I mean, it's like a pure survival, like I was talking about in my little mini rant video that came out. They're actually going for the survival route, hazardous materials and stuff. You just want to go back to what you were doing. So we recently changed it, where you fuel in your ship and it grabs you limits how far you can go at once. Yes, but it doesn't run out of fuel. Maybe there will be an update or a mod that allows you to do that. See? Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? They changed it. So it's not pure bad but it's not really good you know what i mean it can far you can go so that's a actual good idea it's a really 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 good idea howard also said that players are able to remove negative character traits by completing quests we have a way in the game the active quest you can remove that trait opposed to oh wow so you can actually right now based on what he's saying here say like you have a bad uh trait that gives you like a negative 10 do a quest, it'll bump you right back up. That was a problem in Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout. It's good that they're doing this, people. It's base game that's not mods. It's really, really good. We have a way in the game, kind of actually or a quest you can do, remove that trait as opposed to. I don't like my character. I want to start over. Each of them are something that can solve and remove the entire trait. Okay, that's really good. The studio has gone back on the classic Bethesda style. Dialogue C, okay. They've gone back on the classic Bethesda dialogue system for Starfield, which sees players looking at characters and how they emote. Okay. That, that's really good. This game is currently includes 250,000 lines of dialogue compared to approximately 60. What? Yeah, okay. I'm just now seeing this and I'm flabbergasted. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is really, really crazy. It's freaking dialogue systems that came out, man. They, they had a screenshot that popped. This is what it's saying. This guy's armor looks freaking cool, man. This looks freaking, freaking cool. It, dang, dude, look at the details and stuff like that. Even though, you know, it's still, it's in game, but it's not gonna say it's, it's past beta. It's like full on armor that we're gonna see in the game. But what's it say? Persuade, there is no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You can persuade them to do that, attack. Time to make the settled systems a safer place. You can kill them. I don't suppose we could just agree to disagree. No hard feelings. Okay. So by looking on this, this is just an added effect that I want to add at the end of the video. But looking at this, it's not the Fallout 4 character wheel. It looks like more Fallout 3-ish to New Vegas-ish. 
it has the standard you know up and down vertical style persuasion wheel and stuff like that you know of course you can be high and good of morale and talk to people and it has the bethesda flair to it per se but that's really cool man that's really cool all right so guys so what do you think this is just a quick video i know i'm rambling on i'm just now seeing this is off the cuff i can't contain my excitement for it i'm i'm going to play the piss out of this game i cannot wait to play starfield y'all i don't you know people can hate on the game all they want to but it's not going to stop my excitement like bethesda games have been part of my life since the original xbox and i can't wait to play this again i can't wait to play another good groundbreaking title for me and play with the mods like the game's intended to be all right y'all like share subscribe and peace and th you know thanks a lot guys for the subs that came out like i really love you guys man all right y'all like, share, subscribe, and peace. And stay tuned for more Starfield details.